Phil Health will not save your life. Um, some people seem to assume it will cover them for medical emergencies. It gets you in the door a lot of the time. It will get you basics. It will pay some of your debt. Um, and I say debt because it is debt. Uh, the hospital system in the Philippines is a cash cow. That's a, it's a business. It is not a um, system of looking after people. It's not the British NHS that is heavily funded and will do whatever it can to save people. It works on your wallet. Um, PhilHealth only covers so much. And I want to talk about something that's happened this weekend because it's very relevant. This And PhilHealth's come up a couple of times this weekend. Um, a family member's had something pretty horrendous happen. Um, so, been to the hospital, they won't let him into ICU without 30,000 pesos. So we've had to get get money there as quick as possible so that he could get basically ICU, ventilator equipment for, for works. Um, now the operation is gonna cost at least 150,000 pesos, plus the ongoing costs of being in ICU. That's the reality. PhilHealth is not gonna pay that bill. I'll tell you that now. If he didn't have the 30,000, they would not allow him to get into ICU. They wouldn't, you know, and he'd be dead by now. So I really, really want to stress the fact that you need to make sure you have health cover because without it, you may die. Um, I also found in the Philippines that often the effects of something earlier can be devastating. Um, in the fact that I've seen people have amputations, I've seen people um, have accidents prior to having something happen to the point they die. I really do think that the after effects need to be analysed. I recommend you get a second opinion after you've been in the hospital um, because I do think a lot of people have a long-term thing happen because they didn't get the right aftercare. Um, a simple example, there was a child with TB. Um, the doctor locally prescribed one month's medication when he actually needed 12 months. Um, but they just like, well, there's one month off you go. Um, he needed 12 months, he got second opinion from a British doctor and that was basically it. He had to have 12 months medication, whether the family could afford it or not, because it ain't gonna go away otherwise. Um, <coughs> but in the instances with uh, accidents, there could be risks of blood clotting, infection, and other things that nobody seems to put two and two together. That three months earlier, you had a motorbike crash, or three months earlier, um, you know, you were ill with something and they're connected because the aftercare isn't there. Um, I do recommend getting in touch with your local doctor, wherever you come from, and even if it's just a telephone call saying, look, I had this happen, the doctors advised this, what do you think? You know, even if you have to pay for the service, peace of mind is an important thing. And I know a lot of people just go, it won't happen to me. I mean, it happens too much in the Philippines. It happens too much. Um, in the last 10 years, I've lost nearly 20 people I know. Reality. Whether it's motorbike crashes, infections, um, dietary issues that have basically affected them, you know, because in the Philippines, pork, 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 salt, salt, salt is in everything. Um, there's a lot of reasons people die, but a lot of the times they could have been prevented. And this is why it's, I'm trying to get this message across that look after yourself, look after the people around you. And they may find you annoying that you turn around and say, well, why haven't you been to the doctor about this or whatever? But at the end of the day, you may be able to help somebody save themselves. 
Thanks for watching.